Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have a very powerful sky and a sky that is promising big, big change. And I don't say that lightly. So let's start with what is happening in the early part of the month, right around the fifth and sixth, depending on where you are on the planet, you wanna give it a day on either side. But this is a window where there are three big celestial events taking place. So one is Mercury retrograde and Mercury will retrograde in the same part of the sky where the second thing is taking place, which is the new moon. Now, these two events are happening at the very foundation of your chart, which has to do with matters of home and family, particularly your family of origin. And this can cover everything from the space in which you live, uh, from where it is that you live, to spending time with uh, your parents, where that applies, or in some way visiting and understanding your past and where it is that you have been in a new light. And as part of this energy, particularly given uh, the characteristic of this time, it looks like a very powerful time of forgiveness as well. And that's because of Neptune. Neptune is intimately involved in this new moon, happening hand in hand with the new moon. But it is also Neptune that will be dancing with this Mercury retrograde season, throughout this Mercury retrograde season, and is going to define the energy of this time. In some way, you're gonna be asked to raise your level of compassion. And you're gonna be asked to look at your past with more loving eyes, with kinder eyes, and to reinterpret it in a way that brings genuine healing to the people that you've known and to whom it is that you are today. On a more mundane level, this is a part of the sky where uh, things like buying, selling, moving, new roommates become possible. And I would also add, because Mercury is retrograde here, redecorating, repairs, very likely on the home front. Now, where it comes to changes you may make in terms of especially where it is that you're living, uh, of course, it's Mercury retrograde. You might change your mind, and Mercury retrograde is known for contracts not necessarily being very clear, whether that's intentionally or unintentionally. And so where possible, and if possible, if it is that you are looking to buy, sell, or move, uh, if you can hold off on that, it might be a good idea. Uh, the opportunity may look different once we get to the end of the month and especially into next month. Having said that though, this can be a time of reflection that ultimately helps you to appreciate where you are and to feel more at home exactly where you are, whether that's a physical space or within yourself and your own body. And this can be a powerful time of renegotiation, of going back to an offer that you made before and seeing what could be possible. That's not only because of Mercury retrograde, but the new moon. Yes, it's hand in hand with Neptune, but it's also speaking in harmony with Mars, in harmony with Saturn, and even in harmony with Pluto as well. And so there's a lot of very powerful energy at this time. If you are looking to make a change and where possible, bring in a level of strategy. It is when you are strategic and when you understand that it's not so much about the new and the next, but about considering where it is that you have been and making sure that you've tapped into those resources that you're able to make the most gains. If all of that wasn't enough, under the same sky, we are going to have the monumental move of Uranus. Uranus is going to move into, or back into rather, a part of the sky for you that has to do with your day-to-day -day life. Uh, and so this has to do with your coworkers, your clients, your customers, the work that you're doing. It also has to do with how well it is that you are taking care of you. Now, I spoke about this in the Uranus special horoscope uh, here on YouTube. There's a video and I will try to link to it in the description below. You might wanna have a look at that or another look at that because it was last year, in the middle of last year that you got a little taste of this energy. But now here we are, Uranus is gonna move into this part of the sky for a nice long stay, the better part of the next seven years. 
Now, I find it really interesting that these events are happening simultaneously. On the one hand, you're focused on the past and where you've been, spending more time with your family of origin. At the same time, you are looking to what's new and what's next, where it comes to the work that you are doing. And so it's very possible now that you'll be looking to working from homes or with homes as part of changing uh, the sense of opportunity you have doing the work that you're doing. It is possible now that in some way, someone that you knew way back in the day, possibly from childhood, brings about greater opportunity or facilitates some sense of workplace opportunity into your life or might even just show up as a client or customer or new coworker into your life now. And there are lots of ways in which you are going to find uh, your perception of the power of your days, the power of your routines, and ensuring that they actually reflect some authentic expression of you. That is going to be part of a larger trend in the years ahead, but you'll find that you will be reflecting on what has been as part of changing these routines and habits in the here and now. Now, as we move towards the later part of the month, right around the 21st, we are gonna celebrate the equinox. So happy equinox to everyone out there. But we're also going to have a full moon. This full moon is happening in a friendship part of your sky. This full moon is happening at the very beginning of its sign. And so normally full moons bring with them a sense of fruition or completion. However, this full moon with the sense of completion will also have new beginnings, will have a sense of a fresh start. And so this brings me back to the Mercury retrograde, connecting you with people from your long ago past. It may very well be that one of the people you are connecting with is a friend that you were connected to before that in some way shows up into your life now. It is also very possible with a sky like this that you are moving in a direction of understanding how the friendship dynamics you are in now are fueled by some prime examples you had when it was when you were a child. And so in some way, the past is speaking to the current dynamics that you have. At the very least, you're gonna be social and that can be very rewarding. It can also be a time when some sort of a group project or group endeavor uh, comes to fruition in ways that ultimately will bring about even greater opportunity to you. Now, where it comes to matters of love, Venus is on the move right out of the gate as we start this month. Venus is going to move into a part of the sky that is considered your home in the sky, if you will. So it has to do with uh, understanding the larger world. And Venus moving into this part of the sky is infamous for uh, bringing with it uh, international attractions. Uh, and so if it is that you're open to meeting someone new, chances are there is going to be romantic interest in and uh, some important moments, uh, some soft and beautiful moments, if you will with someone uh, who is from a very different culture or different background than you've known before. And in some way, this person introduces you to more of the world. Now, Mercury is retrograde, which means that what you think it is or what you think you're getting may actually be very different in the fullness of time. And that really is okay. However, the thing with a retrograde and a Mercury retrograde is just pace yourself. You'll be glad for it. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, this can be a time when you feel as if your worldview is expanded, uh, whether it is that they believe things very differently than you, uh, whether it is that they expose you to a new tradition or a new way, a new philosophy, or even the food of a new country. Um, these all can be ways to have more meaningful conversations, more philosophical conversations, which is just how you like it. And it is in these spaces that you will find yourself expanding your horizons and feeling that much more connected. Now, for those of you who are in an established bond, this is all about adventure. So chances are in some way, you're thinking about taking on an adventure with this person that you love, whether it is that you are planning a trip, uh, whether it is the trip actually happens, which is possible with a month like this, uh, in some way, the two of you are considering what could be new, what could be enjoyable for the two of you to share and whatever those activities are, especially where they incorporate elements uh, and places and spaces and ideas that you haven't considered before. Well, that's when you fortify the bond that much more.
What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here, but I do love how you are looking at the past differently. Your past will inform what your understanding is of where it is that you are today. And it is ultimately your past that fuels a sense of connection with some spiritual clarity, some spiritual truth. That's the best way to use this energy. But it isn't just about what happened before, but your understanding of how what has happened before is showing up in your life right now in your smallest moments. And it is in the present, it is in those moments that the true power lies. But with a month like this and in the years ahead, that is also where you are going to find your most authentic expression. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, including your in a special horoscopes. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. I don't know how much the mic picked up, but my dog is sleeping and was really going for his snoring, he was snoring really loud. So I don't know if that showed up in the audio, uh, but if it did, just know he looks really beautiful and peaceful right now. So that's a good thing. Well, thank you again. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.